the famous Russian mixed martial arts fighter, UFC lightweight champion Islam Makachev was born on October 27, 1991 in Makhachkala. Islam, of course, always paid great attention to training. But he never jammed on his studies. Makachev finished 11 classes with good grades, and then he went to university and had a very busy schedule. He came to the university by 9 a.m., and after classes he went to practice, by 5 p.m. There I had a short lunch and then a two, to three hour intensive training session. In this schedule, it was important not to get caught up and catch the shuttle bus to cush it from the station. If you didn't make it, you walked home. And maybe by 10 p.m. you'd be home. That's how Islam spent the first three years of his student life. Sports took a lot out of Islam, not just time, but money. Equipment, training camps, everything cost a pretty penny. One day, when Makachayev again took money from the family budget, he decided it was his last time. He got a job as a security guard at various sites in the city. Work in shifts wasn't the easiest. It was especially hard to train under such conditions. But Makachev had luck with his boss. At first he would allow Islam to go out of work for two hours in order to train, and then he would even let him go for days and weeks when it came to training camps. Islam is one of Khabib's best friends, he met Nurmagomedov in his childhood. Also Islam knows Abubakar Nurmagomedov well, he studied with him in the same class, they even have a touching childhood photo. Makachev started to take up mixed martial arts on the professional level in 2010. He took part in five spectacular fights under the auspices of M1 Global. The fighter came out the winner often, then used choking and painful, always acted clearly and confidently. In 2014, Islam signed a deal with the Ultimate Fighting Championship and six months later for the first time entered the octagon with Leo Koons, whom he defeated without any problems. But after a white streak, bad times came. Makachev's opponent in his next fight was Adrian Martins, an experienced and professional fighter. He knocked out the Dagestani fighter in the second minute of the first round. So Martins was nicknamed, the offender of Dagestan. His new trainer became Xavier Mendez. Makachev still remains Nurmagomedov's sparring partner, and his first coach is proud of the success of his war. After Khabib Nurmagomedov quit the UFC it was Islam Makachev who became the main representative of Russia in the lightweight division of the strongest promotion in MMA. True, Islam was not allowed to reach Khabib's heights for a long time. Twelve fights in the league, and not a single one against the top. Makachev is not just a gifted and hardworking fighter. He is Khabib Nurmagomedov's main successor. They have similar styles, similar technique and the same school, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov school. It so happened that now Islam is being coached by Khabib, who after the end of his career became successful in just about everything he touched. There was only one thing missing, a high-profile victory for his student. And now the belt. Khabib Nurmagomedov's first belt as a coach. Just like his father. You can only imagine what it means for Khabib. Khabib was engaged in preparation of Makachev for the fight with the Brazilian Charles Oliveira. The fight took place on October 22 in Abu Dhabi at the UFC 280 tournament. Islam won by using choking hold in the second round. After this fight Makachev became the UFC champion.